Hi you guys! So first up, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit squeaky. I've been having some major sinus issues and my voice is pretty much going. So I'm trying my best to film for you guys. So I apologize if I kind of sound a little squeaky today. Second of all, I have a ton of makeup on today. I had some dental work done yesterday and they, um, my dentist is great, but because they had to do so much work, I got um, sores here on my mouth and my face and it's really not cute so I've got that all covered up. The good news is my chip is fixed. My gap's a little bit bigger but I'm fine with that. I think gap teeth are perfectly fine. I think they're cute. Do I wish like that I had perfectly straight even all together teeth? Yeah. but. It is kind of what I've got. So my gap here is a little bit bigger, but they were able to fix some problems I had here. I do have to go back actually for two more appointments to get more problems fixed. So yay genetic weak teeth. But I have had one crazy freaking day so far, you guys. It's 140, well 141 right now. And my day has been insane. I went and dropped my kids off at school like normal, perfectly fine. And then I went to drive up to the grocery store to get um, some gyoza sauce because I'm making dumplings tonight. And my freaking car started steaming. I thought it was smoke at first, but now it's steam. So I stopped. I was in an intersection, so I stopped completely, threw on my hazards, grabbed the baby out of the van. And thankfully, I had, I was um, in an area where I drive through is like filled with industrial buildings and trucking areas and things like that. So you get a lot of guys coming through there constantly, which is really nice because I had a bunch of guys stop and help me. One gentleman, uh, he actually flagged someone else down and they actually pushed my car over the side of the road because I thought I was gonna have to call a tow truck. But I called my husband and there's actually a hose connector to my radiator that started leaking. Apparently, they used plastic instead of metal. The plastic um, either has a damage or a hole or something in it, and it started leaking. Apparently, this happens a lot with the type of van I have because they made it a plastic connector. So um, what I was able to do is I was only about two miles away from home. So I took, I had a bunch of empty, half empty water bottles in my van from this weekend because it was so hot. So I took um, all the water bottles, dumped them into my coolant system because it was completely like done, closed that up and managed to get the van back home. So we're hoping that my husband can pick up the part to fix that tonight. One of the places wanted like $80 for the part in the hose and said, that they didn't sell the hose set or the part separately that you had to buy the whole things with the hose. And they also said that it would take five days to ship because it was out of stock. I'm like, I can't be without a car for five days. We don't live in an area where there's an Uber. I can't exactly, you know, call up the school and be like, hey, can you bust my kids for like the next week? No, not gonna happen. So I looked up a few places online and found the Y part, not the factory Y part, but a replacement one that will fit my van for eight bucks instead of 80 at um, a racing equipment place that we have um, near where my husband works. And um, looked up online, they've got it in stock and it's eight bucks. And it's gonna be perfect. So if he gets up work early enough, he's gonna pick that up and see if we can fix my van. If not, we're probably gonna use silicone sealant and duct tape to hold the thing together and keep it from leaking until we can get that part. So that's been my morning. All right, anyway, but that's not why we're here. I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. I keep meaning to vlog, but my days have been so crazy and so busy, and I'll start a vlog and I'll forget about it halfway through the day. I know that's terrible. If you guys want me to do more vlogs, if you want me to um, make sure that I'm vlogging, let me know down in the comments below because I don't get time views on my vlogs, so I don't know whether you guys enjoy them or not. So let me know and then I know where to focus my time and attention. So anyway, I have a freaking boatload of empties here. You guys, this thing is huge. So most of these are mine. As usual, some of these are my husband's. I always like to share what he's liked and what he's gone through and what he doesn't like just in case you're going to pick something up for your boyfriend or your husband or you're a dude and you're watching this video and you want to know, hey, is that a decent shampoo for getting all that crap out of your hair? So 
let's get started. First up, I have the Ulta cotton pads. You guys know I'm obsessed with these cotton pads. These are fantastic. They don't leave lint and other junk. I use these every single night to take off my eye makeup if I'm not wearing waterproof because I use an oil if I'm wearing waterproof. But these are really, really good for that and I also use them to take off my nail polish. I will definitely be repurchasing those. <sighs> I don't like these. These are the Urban Decay Meltdown Makeup Remover Wipes. I don't even know if they make these, honestly, because, or anymore. I actually bought these before they came out officially with the Meltdown Makeup line, like all the um, different makeup removers they have. I bought these before then because I saw them in Ulta and I was like, oh, I've never heard of these before. I don't know if they're new, so I grabbed them, brought them home, tried them. And I do not like them. I don't know if they had them in Ulta as like a test to see how well they would sell or not because I've never even seen these really advertised. But um, these will take off your makeup. They also smell like a solvent. Like they smell like something you would use to clean the crap off of a car engine with which is not something I necessarily want to be putting near my eyes. They also cause my eyes to sting and burn and was generally unpleasant. Um, also, this thing isn't even completely empty. I still have a bunch of wipes in here. You get 100 in a pack for like 20 bucks, but they dry out really, really, really fast. Like these probably started drying out within two weeks. It was ridiculous. I even tried adding a little bit more back to these and using them and uh, I don't just know. So I'm guessing that's why they don't advertise for these. I'm guessing they took them off the market. So yeah, definitely not a fan of those. Next up are the e.l.f. makeup remover wipes, which I do like, but I don't like these for my eyes. I've been trying every single wipe I can get my hands on to see if there's one I like for using around my eyes. And these ones I don't like for my eyes either because again, they do sting my eyes. Now, as far as taking off swatches or taking off liquid lipstick or anything like that, these I love. These are excellent for stuff like that. I just won't use them around your eyes. I would repurchase these for taking off swatches when um, my kids outgrow baby wipes because I tend to use those for swatches too and they kind of work just as well. I have two Bath & Body Works body washes for my husband. These are White Water Brush and Noir. Um, sorry, the bottles are kind of gross. My uh, water in my house is really, really hard and we can't put in a water softener because it's a rental. So it leaves these weird little marks over everything. But um, my husband really loved these scents. Unfortunately, Bath & Body Works doesn't carry these anymore as far as I'm concerned. So it's kind of disappointing because he really did like both of these. So yeah. And he's not a big fan of any of the new scents that they've come out with in any of the new ranges. This is actually what he switched to. This is the Axe Black Body Wash. We've been making fun of the freaking Axe commercials forever. And the old scents used to really stink. But this one actually is really, really good. Now this does slightly irritate my allergies though, so he has repurchased this, but I think we're going to try something different. But if you're looking for more of a grown up, not quite teenage boy accent, my husband really likes this one. I think this is the last thing my husband used. And this is the Schwarzkopf Gliss Hair Repair with Liquid Keratin Ultimate Repair Shampoo. It's for heavily damaged hair. Now my husband's hair isn't damaged, but it does kind of get beat up a lot. Um, he mostly grabbed this because I said, hey, that's new and it looks cool. And um, he actually really likes it. It does a really good job at getting all of the ick out of his hair after a long day at work. And it keeps his hair soft and he likes it so far. I haven't tried it because I've got so many other shampoos I'm going through though. But yeah, he really does like this one. All right, let's get back onto my stuff. I went through another set of the Camera Frizz Control Shampoo and Conditioner. I love this. I already have another one of the shampoos in backup. It's not what I'm using right now because I'm trying out a different line, but as soon as I'm done trying out that line, which I've got kind of mixed feelings on, I'm going to go back to this because I really, really love this. I've gone through a ton of these. They are amazing. This is so, so good if your hair is prone to frizz and dehydration and dryness or if your ends are damaged. I really, really like it. Next up is a dry shampoo. It's my Batiste Strength and Shine, which is my favorite. Now, I haven't been going through as much dry shampoo as I used to. 
um, mostly because it's been ridiculously hot this summer. I've been sharing and washing my hair a lot more frequently because there's only so much dry shampoo can do. But I'm banging, I'll probably go through a little bit more once it gets freezing cold and into the winter. But yeah, I would definitely repurchase this and I have, I believe I got a different scent this time though. All right, next up is a face wash I went through. And you guys know I've been trying tons and tons of different skincare products to narrow down my skincare routine and kind of pick my favorites. This, unfortunately, I really, really like. It's also discontinued. They actually discontinued it right after I bought it. This is the Tony Moly Brightening Bubble Foam in Whipping Cotton. I really, really like this. It's a foaming cleanser, but it doesn't dry out my skin. It doesn't create that squeaky texture. Now, the one I'm using now, which is the Tony Moly peach foaming cleanser does dry out my skin which sucks so i really really like this i hope that they bring it back i highly doubt they will but i'm hoping to find something similar to this because it's really really good if it wasn't discontinued i would definitely repurchase it all right next up is the toothpaste i use this is the pro enamel strong and bright enamel this um it's for sensitive teeth cavity protection um, it's got extra fluoride in it for the anti-cavity. Um, I don't think this has anything whitening in it at all, but um, I really, really like this. This is good. It helps with teeth sensitivity, especially to hot or cold, and it doesn't taste like overly, overly minty, so I really like it, and I have already repurchased another one. All right, next up is a sample from a Sephora Play Box, and this is the Christoph Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. This is a scalp scrub. I have mixed feelings on this. I love what it does to my hair. This gets all the crap off of your scalp. It makes your hair very soft, very nice. It doesn't dry it out, but the sea salt in it doesn't actually get down to your scalp. It just kind of sits on top of your hair and falls in chunks on the um, shower floor. Now, it foams really, really well. It cleans really, really well, but if they meant to put the sea salt in it, like as the scrubbing, even on my thin hair, it can't get down to the scalp. So maybe if they try a smaller salt or something like that, or a smaller type of salt, but I really, really liked it. It works really well. It's just the salt was kind of pointless as an actual scrubbing product if that makes sense went through a hand sanitizer i probably went through like 10 of these honestly um but usually i'll just throw them out wherever i'm at when i run out this is um hello beautiful and of course it's bath and body works Ooh, another thing i ran out of this is a holy grail moisturizer this is the saint ives timeless skin collagen elastin moisturizer this is amazing you may have seen this on dr oz but i've actually been using it way 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 before then my mom actually used this for years and years and years and years and people look at her and they can't tell how old she is they have no idea in fact a fun game i used to play with new friends was guess how old my mom is because they would assume that she was usually at least 10 to 20 years younger than she actually is this is all that she used on her face and her skin is still amazing she hasn't used it in a couple of years and her skin still looks amazing this is what i pick up when i can't decide what to use or if i need like massive 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 amounts of moisture i have been trying a lot of korean skincare lately so i haven't repurchased this yet but it's one of those things it's always good to have a jar of um, in your cabinet this does have mineral oil in it some people think mineral oil breaks them out others don't for my skin it's fine and the collagen and the elastin in here work beautifully with your skin this moisturizes so so well and this is only like five dollars you can pick it up pretty much anywhere and this is one of those products i recommend to people who are like i don't have time to do like a 5-10 step skincare routine i just need a moisturizer that works that's gentle this is a moisturizer that works and it's gentle and it's amazing yes it comes in a tub yes that sucks because you're dipping your fingers in you're getting germs grab a makeup spatula and use that to get the product out if that freaks you out because sometimes it freaks me out too i wish they made this in like squeeze tubes if they made this in squeeze tube form i probably have one like everywhere but yeah I would definitely recommend if you haven't tried this yet giving it a shot and I will definitely sometime in the future repurchase this. All right, 
we got masks. First up is the Tony Moly Angel Glow Ring Hair Mask. It's a hair treatment and then it's a hair cap that goes over the hair treatment with essence in it. This is amazing, you guys. Like, I'm shocked. This is so, so good for your hair. Helps with frizz, it moisturizes. My hair, like obviously I didn't just use it, but my hair was so freaking soft for the next like three to four days. It was amazing. And it even lasted through my next shampoo. My hair was still really, really soft and nice. So this is one I definitely recommend trying. It's very easy to use, very comfortable, and I will definitely be repurchasing it. All right, next mask is a face mask, and this is by Manifit, and this is their Energizing Rose Nourish and Invigorate Mask. This is one of the ones I picked up at Urban Outfitters a while ago. Love it. Smells like real roses. Very, very nice. Also, normally, I don't tend to love hydrogel masks because the really thick ones can get very heavy and slippery and fall off your face. This is a very light hydrogel mask. It doesn't want to drip and fall. It's one that you can put on and still sit somewhat upright or at least at an angle while you have it on. You don't have to lay like completely flat back to keep it on your face. So yes, I would definitely buy more masks from that brand. Oh my gosh, you guys. My voice is trying to go so bad, you can hear it cracking. I'm going to try and get through this video though. All right, next up is the Tony Moly Mud Mask Mud Peeling Sheet. And yes, I actually went through two of these. So, so, honestly, these are mud masks. They do help dry up the sebum in your pores. However, you peel them off and they're very, very easy to peel off, at least for me. And I didn't see it like taking anything on my pores. You expect typically for a peeling mask to actually, you can peel it off and see little hairs and see oil and all that ick. These didn't do that. They weren't super drying my skin, which was nice, but I didn't notice a lot of difference in the size of my pores and they didn't peel a lot of junk out. Would I use them again? Yeah, if I found them on sale, and they weren't really expensive per mask, then I would probably get them again, but I probably won't pay more than like $2 for them. Right, the next mask I used is the Fruitia Blueberry Hydrating Mask. These are the masks that are available at CVS now. This is also a Korean brand. I freaking love this graphic design. It is adorable. They look like little pots, these little white thingies. It's so cute. Um, and this mask is wonderful. It's a very, very thin, comfortable mask to wear. It's the kind of mask you can throw on and then unload the dishwasher while you're wearing it. And it's very, very hydrating and it's not sticky. And the scent is very, very light. So I have actually already picked up another mask from this line. I could only find one though because my CVS has been sold out of these. These are going like crazy. And these are also, I believe, only $2 at CVS. So it's a really good price for a Korean skin mask in the U.S. I'm hoping that the skincare here becomes more and more popular so that it's easier to find and less expensive. And yeah, I love this mask. So yay. <clears throat> All right, another product I went through was the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes. I assumed hypoallergenic won't sting the eyes. Wrong. These sting your eyes again. They are fine if you just want to take off a little bit of face makeup or you want to take off swatches. I do feel the need to rinse my face with water after using these because I don't like the way they make my skin feel. They're very like sticky and uncomfortable. So I probably won't repurchase these just because I don't use that many wipes and I keep trying different brands and haven't found one yet. Next thing I went through is this giant freaking bag of Epsom salts. Um, these are actually really, really big bags. They come really full. I get these at Target um, because I like unscented um, Epsom salts. That way I can mix them with whatever bubble bath or whatever soap I want to use and it doesn't smell like, like lavender if I want to use a pumpkin body soap that day, if that makes sense. But Epsom salts. Me and my husband use these a lot in our baths for sore, aching muscles, tired joints, anything like that. If your back hurts, throw a handful or two or three in your bathtub and it will really, really help your muscles. So we love those. Two more masks I went through. These are the Tony Molly Pureness 100 Pearl Mask Sheets for brightening. 
Now, I didn't see a whole lot of brightening effects from these, but they were very comfortable to wear and very moisturizing. But yeah, I do like these and I definitely would repurchase them. We have another Manifit mask, and this is the Soothing Aqua Collagen for supple and smooth, and I really did love this one. This one is very moisturizing. Really, really like it. And, ooh, this one. Okay, I actually still have one of these left because I haven't wanted to try it again. This is the Toy Moly Rice Mask Sheet for Nutrition. The actual mask is made out of like a rice papery type compound. And then the essence also has rice in it. And it's very weird because you are supposed to soak the mask in the essence in this little tray they give you and then put the mask on and you're only supposed to soak it for like three minutes. I tried my three minutes, parts of it were still hard, left it longer, other parts of it were like way too mushy while the other parts were still hard and I couldn't even wear it because I couldn't get it to work properly. That could be user error on my part so I do have another one that I'm going to try. Um, probably won't repurchase this because it's a bit of a pain in the butt to get right and um, I don't know about you guys but when I put a face mask on I just kind of am done with my day. I want to put a mask on. I want to relax. I don't want to have to fidget with something to get to work correctly. So I will try that other one when I'm feeling a bit more patient and see how that works and see if I can get it to work correctly. Hey, my computer uh, went to sleep on me. What are you doing, computer? You're part of the background. I should probably change the cherry blossom, shouldn't I? It's fall now. I think I'm going to change that tonight. I went through a hand soap. I actually went through many more than just this one, but this is the only one that made it in my empties basket. This is the Sparkling Mint Blossom, and yes, this is from last winter. I tend to buy a lot of soaps at once and then use them up as the year goes through when there's a good sale or a scent I like. Um, I really like this one. I definitely purchased it again. Next up is, again, last year's Marshmallow Fireside Candle. The best freaking smelling candle in the world. Um, this one I finished burning up because I only have a little bit left. And I was like, we're about to get this scent again, so I may as well finish it up. I have a bad habit of putting away a candle once the season's done and saving it for next year. And I'm like, I don't have the room to store all this stuff. So I went ahead and used it up during um, June and July, and it made my house smell happy. Guys, my voice is totally going, so I'm going to go through the rest of this really fast. Um, I have a Tarte eyelash curler. You're supposed to replace your actual, like the body of your eyelash curler like every six months. I had this one for like two years. I already bought an exact duplicate to it, mostly because you can't buy the replacement pads for it individually. So after you kill like the last replacement pad, you're kind of done with this anyway. I really do like the Tarte Lash Curlers though. So I'm hoping that they come out with like a cute glittery or pearly or another cute like seasonal one this year so I can pick up a backup that has cuter handles. But see, I went through the Tarte, Tarte Guard 30 sunscreen. I kind of like this. It's okay, it's a good sunscreen, but I really, really prefer Japanese sunscreens for my face. And I will show you guys I think I may have shown you guys the one I liked in favorites video. If I have it, it will be up when I do my skincare routine soon. But yeah, this was okay. Wasn't the best, but it's pretty good. Next up, I finally went through this. Oh my gosh, this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the shade Light. I've had this one forever. This one's practically as old as my channel. Would I repurchase this? Yes. If I needed something that was similar in consistency to my Tarte Shape Tape at a drugstore price, yes, I would repurchase this. I went through the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Dark Brown. Would I repurchase this? Probably not just because it's a felt tip and you guys know how I feel about felt tips. I love the color though. This shade of brown is gorgeous. If they did this shade of brown but Stila came out with brush tips, then I would probably go for it. Oh, mascaras. My goodness. Okay, so I went through, well, okay, I didn't go through it. I tried it again, you guys. I put it back in my stash and I tried it again, the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. It's too freaking wet. It's too wet and it still smudges. You put this on and you have to wait for like five minutes for your freaking eyelashes to dry. I can't do it. I need a dryer formula. This one's finally going bye-bye. 
let's see, the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I went through this one. I do love this one. I don't exactly love the wand on it because it's a spiky rubber one. Those aren't my favorites, but I do really like the formula of this mascara. And then I also have the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. This one I got in a Sephora Play Box, and oh my gosh, you guys, I'm in love with this mascara. This is amazing. It has this nice short bristle wand. It's very thick. It's not wet at all, but it's not dry. It's like a very creamy formula, I guess would be the best, best way to describe it. Now, I have very, very long lashes, and I love this. My mom also has very, very short lashes and has difficulty applying mascara because of her eyesight, and she doesn't wear contacts. But she loves this mascara too. So if you're looking for something that would work for someone who has both long or short eyelashes and naturally very pale and thin eyelashes, this works beautifully. I'm a huge, huge fan of this and I definitely would repurchase it. Little sample packet of the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. Meh. It's an eye cream, nothing special. Uh, the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Foundation. I love this. This is very, very good. And yes, I would consider buying a full size of this because I really did like it. I think it worked well at shrinking the pores on my cheeks. The only thing is you have to be careful not to use too much or it gets clumpy, but I'm a big fan of this one. The Roto Cool Redness Reliever Eye Drops. Roto puts... Um, cooling things like spearmint in their eye drops. I will probably repurchase this because I really did like it, but I tend to make sure that the eye drops I use are either for moisturizing or for anti-allergy. Now, I do know that Roto came out with an allergy eye drop, so I might consider trying that because I really do like their brand. I like the packaging and I really like the product and this works very, very well. And then the Benefit Lolly Balm. <sighs> I've had this forever. It's, look, it's, yeah. I hate the smell of this. I do not like rose-scented lip products. I'm sorry, I can deal with rose face cream, but I don't want rose-scented stuff on my mouth. Yuck. The color is beautiful. The scent, I can't do it. So that's why this is going away. All right, guys, two more things, almost done. We have the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. And some people love this, some people hate it. I freaking love it. This stuff is amazing. Would I pay full price for it? I don't know because I'm kind of cheap when it comes to stuff like that. And this is expensive. This is really expensive. So I loved it. I squeezed every last drop out of it. I think it's an amazing, amazing exfoliator. If I could find it for a good price or possibly with a coupon, things like that, yes, I would definitely repurchase this. It worked very, very nice for my skin, and I love the combo of a physical and a chemical exfoliator. It's one of those things I can recommend if you have the budget for it. If you don't have the budget for it, mm -mm, use something else. All right, and the last thing I've got is this. This is incredible. This is the Tony Moly, the high-end cherry blossom brightening essence. This stuff is amazing. This stuff is also no longer carried at Ulta. Thank you, Ulta. The only place I have been able to find this anymore is on the Tony Moly website where instead of this being $30 on its own, it's closer to $50 with shipping, which is insane to me. Now, this is amazing. Tell you one thing, I am trying different brightening essences right now. This is way better and did way better for my skin than the product I'm trying now. So, would I recommend getting this? Yes. Would I rebuy it if I can find it locally or find it for free shipping? 110 million percent. This stuff is so freaking good. And I was actually really hoping to make this a permanent part of my skincare routine and share it with you guys, but I don't want to recommend something that is essentially a drugstore product, but that you have to pay 50 bucks to get your hands on, depending on what part of the country you live in. I mean, it's 27 on its own, but once you add that shipping, it just gets ridiculous. I love the product. I love the packaging. It's a nice pump packaging. So Ulta, please bring this back. Somebody bring this back where I can buy it without having to pay extortion level shipping. And I will be all over this. I will have like 10 freaking balls of this in my cabinet because it's incredible. My voice is done.
you can hear it. I cannot talk anymore. And thankfully, I managed to get through it. My bed is empty. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or just want to say hi, I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. I am pretty much everywhere. And all the links for those are down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.